This is like my third time trying to record this damn video. Anyway, hi, hello, hi. It's Yami here, and I'm just hanging out. I'm gonna do a little uh, video. Shit, I've been about them. Um, just about like a few of fun facts about me, or maybe not so fun, but just facts about me. So let's start with number one. My favorite book is. Ow! Ugh. Ah. I hate my nose. Mm. That hurt. Anyway, my favorite book is Your Badass, right now at least, is my favorite book. It's Your Badass by Jensen Searle. If you haven't read it, read it. I'll leave a link down below so you can find it quickly on Amazon. Do, 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 do. It's really good, guys. It's really good. So anyway, um, fact number uh, two. I... I have a few different favorite shows, but one that I get very upset about, it's The 100. It's so good, all the way up to like season six, because Jason Rothenberg, he ruined the show. He did, he ruined it. And I'm not gonna get into it because I don't wanna get freaking upset about it. I'm not gonna do it. Moving on to number three. I have never broken any bones, but my son, he'll be eight this year in October. When he was five, he broke his arm and it was the worst freaking thing ever. To see my baby in so much like fear and um, pain, oh my God, even just thinking about it really breaks my heart. I can't. But yes, I've never broken a bone myself, so yay me. Um, number four. What's number four? Number four. Um, la, 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 let's see. Um, I have two tattoos, but I want a few more or a lot more. And uh, number five. I have... How many piercings do I have? I have... Mm, hold a thought. So I have 10 piercings, but one of them is the industrial piercing. Don't mind my pimple. And I can make this really into two different piercings, really, because I could take this out and then just put two rings there. So I'm going to go with 10, though. Yeah, I have 10 piercings, and I want a few more. Yeah. Um, let's see. Number six. I would like to work at a Barnes & Noble. Mainly because I'd have an excuse to be surrounded by books all the time. And I'd have a reason to be there all the time. <laughs> okay, number nine. Wait, what? No. Number... Wow, I really should like keep track of things like this, right? I sound crazy right now. Anyway, another fact about me is that I'm very short. Now, obviously, if you see me in person, you know this because, well, like, duh, I'm super short. I am 4 feet 11. That's pretty damn short. But you know what? Mm -hmm. I actually have seen people that are shorter than me. And no, I'm not talking about five-year-olds. Talking about adults. I like to paint. I am not a professional. I am not good at it. Though it's art, so I mean, who's to say that I'm not good at it, right? I've never taken any classes. I've, no, nothing. I literally have no experience whatsoever at painting. I just decided one day, oh, a canvas, paint, uh, paintbrushes. And I decided to just paint whatever. What else? I used to have, very long hair and I chopped it off myself when last year I think I think it might have been last year I chopped it all off 
I was like, I grabbed some scissors and I was like, whoosh, 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 because I knew that if I didn't, I would just change my mind. So I just chopped it off. And then that forced me to go to the salon and get it fixed and da da da. And she actually said that I did a pretty good job considering I did it myself with just regular cutting scissors. So yeah, maybe I have a talent. I am weird when it comes to socks. See, I don't think this is a very fun fact, but whatever, it's a fact, right? I'm weird about socks. Like I can't wear, like I'm picky. If I, if I can feel like the seams of the socks, like on my toes or anywhere around my foot, I just can't, it bothers me. And I honestly don't remember when this happened. Like I used to wear cheap socks all the time and then all of a sudden I couldn't. So now I have to wear like Adidas socks or Nike socks, whatever, you know, things like that because the seams really bother me. And it's kind of annoying because I'm kind of cheap and it kind of messes with my money. You know what I mean? When I can't buy cheap socks. Another fact about me is that I used to never break out when I was younger, right? I went years, I went through puberty and I didn't break out. But now as a 25 year old, I get a bunch of pimples. Like, look at this. It's ready to like pop, but I don't want to pop it, you know? And I, the one that I had, I have one here, which is still going away and I have a few around here. Yeah. Mm. Another fun fact about me or just a fact about me, it's that my go-to food at work, I get a bun, like a roll of bread, you know? Like the little round ones i open it up and make like a little hole in it and then i stuff it with mac and cheese and i know that's a heart attack waiting to happen and it's probably why i've been breaking out so much but it's so freaking good like mm, you should try it or don't no, don't don't what's another fact about me i love mashed potatoes I do. I really like mashed potatoes a lot and I like pizza a lot. Sometimes I get worried about my son because like I grew up eating bananas and oranges. Like they were one of my favorite foods ever and he doesn't like bananas or oranges like at all. He'll eat like a smoothie that has bananas in it or like yogurt or whatever that's like that has bananas in it and stuff but he won't actually eat like the banana and he won't eat oranges but he'll drink orange juice and i don't get that it's like why why i don't know maybe i'm overreacting but i i generally um worry about that sometimes i don't know what's another fun fact about me I like to read books right now for like the past I don't know like for the past year or so I've been very into self-help slash self-development slash business slash entrepreneurship books I haven't been able to read any fiction books at all like I just I can't I was reading one that my cousin gave me a long time ago to read and I never did and I finally picked it up because I was like you know this year I'm gonna read it so I put it on my TBR pile on my desk and I started reading it right but then I'm noticing that it does it sounds very like fiction and I should have looked into it more before I started reading it but I was like whatever so I'm like all right Sounds like it's fiction, I'm gonna keep reading it. And I just couldn't, I couldn't finish it. So not even halfway through the book, I put it away, I just couldn't. Now I have to give it back to my cousin because after having it for so long, it was for no reason. I kept it forever, so I couldn't even read it anyway. So yeah, there was that. Another fun fact about me, I guess, is that I can't read a book if I've already watched 
the movie adaptation or like the TV show, series, whatever, I have to read the book first and then watch its series or movie, whatever it is. Like I did that with the Maze Runner. I watched the first movie and then I read the book and I was just like, oh, what is happening? I can't do that. I can't. Let's see, what else? Oh, I've been listening to Chris Hogan and Dave Ramsey on YouTube like religiously they talk about all of these adulting things you know and as adults or people who are trying to you know adult if you don't know anything about any of that you should look them up they have books they have a podcast i think too um but since we all have access to youtube let's be real here you can look them up on youtube so again that was dave ramsey and chris hogan I think that's it guys yeah I don't know I can't think of anything else honestly I, I should have put more thought into this video but I was very bored didn't have anything else to do and I really wanted to make another video for your YouTube whatever because Jensen Cero said it doesn't have to be perfect just finish it that's what she said anyway hope you guys have a great day or night whatever and I'll see you guys next time